Tinsel, Kaylee Wake, Sadie Schober, and Campbell Welch. Trotter has it. She goes right. Gets it to Haskins. Haskins to Putko. And checking in is uh, Seamill. As they pull it out, Haskins gives it to Seamill. It's tipped away from her, goes out of bounds. That ought to be Lady Panther basketball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. They get it into Welch. We had to have a turnover without a without a video camera. Welch. Welch takes it to the right side. Gets it over to Schobert. Schobert to Benson. Benson back to Campbell. Campbell in the middle. Good pass there by Sadie in oh. a reverse layup. What a shot by Campbell Welch. And they get it down out of bounds as the, the Lady Eagles throw it away. Those Harlem Globetrotter shots. Yeah, it was, wasn't it, Tim? You just speak up anytime <laughs> you want to. Voice has about had it for this week. Right. Welch. It's been a long day. Yeah, Welch. Ray Lee. Underneath, great dish, but it's blocked by Steemel. Here come the Lady Eagles. Haskins gets it across the court line. Gets it to Rippy. Rippy back to Trotter. Trotter puts up a three, no good. Rebound Campbell. Welch. Welch crosses her over, kicks it back out to Stenzel. Stenzel down to Schobert. Back to Campbell. Campbell's in the paint, has it knocked away. It's tipped. Kaylee Wake runs it down. No, it's tipped. That is ridiculous. <laughs> good gosh. Where'd they find these guys? That ball was tipped. Let's see who we got in. We've had a couple of dudes check in. We got Suter checked in. Steemel, Suter. That's Kendall. Over to Seemel. To Trotter. Trotter drives the baseline. She puts it up and she's going to draw a foul. See who that's on. Rippy's in there. So Kendall and Trotter stay on as the original starting five. Trotter at the line. She puts up the first, and it's good. Nine to five. Landry Golden is going to check in for Ray Lee Stenzel. Nine to five. 121 left in the first quarter. Trotter up with the second, she makes both. Nine to six. Wake gets it back to Welch. Welch back to Wake. They get a, they break the press. Wake on the right side. Dribbles right, gets it to Welch. Welch kicks it over to Benson. Benson has the ball tipped. Campbell runs it down. Good pass into Schobert. And they're going to get Steemel for a foul. And Schobert had a wide open layup. So a smart foul by the Lady Eagles. That's just their second team foul. We're here with 58 seconds left. Lady Panthers will inbound it under their basket. They look in Wake. Wake out to Benson. Benson fakes a three. Has it tipped. Gets Runs it down. Gets it back to Schobert. Good hustle by Stella. Kicks it over to Wake. Wake. Kicks it to Welch. Welch thinks about a three. Kicks it back to Wake. Wake. Gets it into Golden. Back out to Benson. Top of the key. Off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Rippy. Rippy gets it to Trotter. Here come the Lady Eagles. Nine to six. Trotter. Pulls up. Gets it to Kendall. Kendall. Dribbles left. Kicks it over to Trotter. Trotter puts up a three, nothing but net. That's gonna tie it up with 13 seconds. Here comes Benson. Benson gets it to Schobert. Schobert over to Wake. Wake to Welch. Welch down into Schobert. Schobert puts oh. it up, almost well goes in at the buzzer. 
And we're tied here nine to nine. And we'll be back with more Lady Panther basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Lady Panther Basketball in the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Kendall has it as Lady Eagles get it. They get it over to Haskins. Haskins has Hicks on her. Get it. Get it to Suter. Down low. Kendall. Kendall. Drives in the paint. Puts one up. No good. Rebound Wake. Here comes Lady Panthers. Kaylee. Gets it in there in a hurry. Gets it over to Ray Lee. Ray Lee down low to Landry. Landry has it blocked, and she's going to knock it out of bounds. As I thought they were climbing their back, so did Mallow. Trotter checks in. Suter checks out. She didn't get much of a break. Haskins keys the inbounds. She gets it to Trotter. They want it in her hands. Trotter gets it across the timeline. Ray Lee on her. They get it to Kendall. Kendall to Haskins. Haskins gets it to Thomason. Thomason, she walks, no call. They cut off in the lane. Good defense down there by Welch. Kent, or Tr Trotter. Trotter has it tipped, stolen by Landry. Here come the Lady Panthers. Oh. Got it to Wake, good job. Wake, kicks it out to Hicks. Hicks thinks about it, gets it to Welch. Back to Hicks. Over to Wake. Back to Campbell. Campbell drives the baseline, puts up another reverse layup. No good. And Trotter gets it. Let's see what we got. I guess we got a late whistle on a foul. I don't know how she got it. My goodness. I thought it was Landry. Trotter will key, or excuse me, Haskins will key the inbounds. Kaylee knocked it out. She could have grabbed it. She knew that later. She said, wow, I could have a V8. <laughs> Haskins gets it to Trotter. Trotter back to Haskins. Late, all tied up. Lady Eagles basketball. Haskins, out in the perimeter. Kicks it over to Thomason. And she walks. So turnover, Lady Panther basketball. Wait, back to Welch. See if this offense can't get going. Kind of stagnant. Turn the ball over quite a bit. <laughs> Wait, in the corner. Picked up her whist, her dribble, and they've got five seconds. And that's the quickest five seconds I've ever seen. Coach Mallow can't believe it. Lady Eagles basketball, Trotter. Trotter is good. She puts up, tries to go over Landry, can't. And we get a foul on Trotter. Big foul there. That's her second here and with 6.07 left in the second quarter. Wake. Gets it back to Welch. Lady Panthers need to get that lid off the basket. Welch back to Wake. Wake back to Welch. 
Playing a little perimeter catch. Campbell looking to go somewhere, gets it to Stenzel, down low to Golden. Golden has it blocked by Thomason, but a foul. And the Fordland coach can't believe it. Thomason's first. Second team foul of the second quarter. Golden up with her first off the back iron, no good. Lady Panthers all tied up here. Steimel checks in. Golden up with the second, nails it, 10 to nine. Trotter has it, she brings it up the right side. She kicks it to Haskin. Haskins gets it to Steimel. Steimel's fouled by Golden. Steimel, I guess is how you pronounce it. Just Golden's first foul. Steimel. Hit off the back iron, misses the first. Still Panther lead by one, 10 to nine. Saw Steimel play the first quarter of the JV game. Pretty good player. She puts up the second off the back iron, no good. But rebound by Thomason. Thomason puts it up, but Ray Lee gets it this time. Ray Lee dribbling up the, over by the scores table, gets it to Wells, Campbell. Cross court, dangerous, Steimel steals it. Trotter has it, back to Steimel, up and in. Dangerous, dangerous pass. Welch gets it to Hicks, down low to Golden. Wait, shoots a three, off the back are no good. And Hicks is gonna pick up a foul. As she slows Trotter down, I mean Trotter's a whiz. She's quick as a hiccup. Sadie Schober's gonna check in for Taylor. Rippy checks in for Thomas. Here comes Haskins. Haskins to Poco. Over to Steam Steimel. Corner by Trotter. Off the back iron. Big rebound by Golden. Gets it over to Welch. Welch gets it across the timeline. She kicks it in the corner to Ray Lee. She launches one off the back iron, no good, but rebound Wake. Gets it to Schobert, down low to Campbell. Campbell off the board and in and foul. Schobert with a great assist. That's great ball movement by the Lady Panthers. Welcher sheet one, 440 left. Fouls on Rippy. Campbell up with it, in and out, no good. Steimel with the rebound, stolen. Ray Lee tipped it right to Campbell and she was coming so hard that she just couldn't gain control, went out of bounds. Boko will throw it in. She's trying to get it to Trotter and she throws it away. It's gonna be Lady Panther basketball underneath their own basket. 437 left here in the second quarter. Each team, Panthers lead 12 to 11. Each team with three personal fouls. Welch will key the inbounds. She gets it, she looks at Stenzel. Stenzel makes a great save, back to Welch. It's gonna remain with the Panthers as they tip it out. That play took too long to get going. Welch looks into Golden. Golden in traffic, puts it up anyway. She has it tipped, no call. They're chasing Stemo, and Ray Lee Stenzel knocks it away. Good hustle by Ray Lee. Trotter's gonna throw it in, no, Haskins. They want the ball in Trotter's hands. Trotter, out top, has Ray Lee on her. Gets it to Haskins, she walks, no call. Trotter has it and they're gonna pick up a foul as she runs into Schobert. And that's gonna be four. Coach Mallow giving Sadie a little coaching lesson there. 
Trotter's going to key the inbound. She gets it in. Oh, what? Baco got it. It was going to Stimel. It got tipped right to Baco. She put it in. 13 12, Lady Eagles. Wake. Back to Welch. Welch. And stolen again, and we're turning it over and turning it over. Stimel. She puts it up and in. And Coach Mallow calls timeout. He's seen enough. And as he takes time out, so will we. And send it to the station for a word from our sponsors on the home. Welcome back to Lady Panther basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Panthers down 15 to 12 as we had 14 turnovers here in the first half. And there's still three minutes left. We got to settle down, take care of the rock, and hit some shots. Welch gets it into Golden. Golden kicks it to Schobert. Schobert stops, pops, rebound Golden. No call underneath. Come on. Ray Lee has it. Turn, stop, pops, in, out, in. We needed that. 15 14. Here comes Trotter. Trotter weaving in and out, crossing everybody over. They get Wake for a foul, and she gets all ball. Kaylee's mad. They're going to get, that's the fifth team foul on the Lady Panthers. We got a new. Official that looks like he's just out of high school. <laughs> As Taylor Hicks will come in for Wake. Kaylee couldn't believe it. Coach Mallow couldn't either. 15 14, Lady Eagles. Rippy shoots the second one off the iron. Ray Lee has it. She's off to the races. She dribbles up the right side, gets it to Campbell. Campbell with a head fake behind her back, looking to cross her over. Gets it down to Golden. Golden with a pivot. Up and in. Landry. Here comes Haskins. She gets it across the timeline. Schobert on her. Kicks it to, over to Baco. Over to Trotter. Trotter. Back to Haskins. Haskins gets to Baco. She puts up a three off the back iron. No good. Stimo has it. She turns. Puts it up and in. <laughs> Got to get a body on her. Welch gets it over to Hicks. Hicks gets it into Golden. Golden turns, puts it up. No good. Rebound to Baco. She kicks it over to Trotter. And we're only getting one shot right now. Is it 16 17? Short three. Rebound Welch. She's off to the races. Dribbles behind her back, sees the numbers, and pulls it back out. She kicks it over to Hicks. Hicks looking to go. And they're gonna get they're gonna get Trotter, and I think that's her third. It is. So a huge foul on Fordland's best player. Checking in is Thomas. A kick into Sadie. Schobert kicks it over to Hicks. Hicks kicks it in the corner to Ray Lee. Ray Lee stops, pops, nothing. There, Stimel with the rebound. Kendall just checked in. Kendall. Lady Panthers need to take care of or take advantage while Trotter's on the bench. Kendall. Has it stolen by Schobert. Schobert. One girl to beat. Puts it up. And she draws the foul. Sadie Schobert. Good move there. Kaylee Stimel second. And the foul, foul on key players starting to pile up. Schobert, nothing but net. Ties this one up, 17 all with 134 left. 
Sadie. Up and in. She ain't no freshman. Get it in. Oh, stolen by Hicks. Hicks gets it to Ray Lee. Ray Lee kicks it. Campbell, Campbell outside. No good. Rebound, Schobert. Ray Lee runs it down. Ray Lee says, hey, Campbell, you come out and run point. Let me post up. They get it over Schobert. Gets it down to Ray Lee. Ray Lee stops, pops, in and out, no good. Rebound by Bucko. Bucko has a tip, but she gets it back. She pulls it up. Hicks steals it. Oh, and it goes out of bounds off a of Fordland player. What a hustle by Taylor. Never quit, never quit. 18-17, Panthers up by one. 53 seconds left here in the first half. Welch gets it up, gets it over to Taylor. Hicks picks up a dribble, gets it back to Welch. 39 seconds. Oh, down to Golden. She's wide open. Up, in, out. Stenzel has it. She pulls it out. Sets it back up. Gets it to Schobert. Schobert back to Golden. Golden spins. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Thomason. 22 seconds left. Stenzel. And it goes off the Fordland player, but it's going to remain with Fordland. Baco will key the inbounds. No trotter right now for the Lady Eagles. Baco gets it into Kendall. Kendall, you just got to not let her go right. Kendall gets it out to Haskins. Down low, stolen by the Lady Panthers. Schobert gets it to Campbell. Campbell stops, pops, short. And that's going to do it for the first half. Lady Panthers lead this one by one. We'll be back with the State Farm Agent Stephen Gum Halftime Show after a word from our great sponsors on the home of Lady Panther basketball, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Lady Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We're here at the state. The score doesn't indicate it, 17 to 18. The Lady Panthers on top. Uh, several turnovers, and there's got to be a lid on the basket. Uh, we've had more shots go in and out the first half than I've ever seen. We have two of the two of the better Lady Eagles in a little bit of foul trouble. See if Coach uh, Mallow doesn't try to exploit that here in the second half. As the Lady Eagles come back out in the court to get ready to get underway. Uh, Lady Panthers still in the locker room. Lady Panthers uh, have uh, looked brilliant at times. Their defense has caused all kinds of havoc. We just got to get on those loose balls. We make many tips twice. We tipped the ball underneath the basket, Fordland's basket, and we tipped it to another Fordland player who put it up and in. From the other, from one Fordland player to the other. But, uh, you know, sometimes that's just what happens. But uh, the Lady Panthers are up by one. You can remember the last time these two met, the Lady Panthers were down, 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 and had to fight to get back in this thing. See if they can't come out firing here in the second half. Uh, you know, you, you, you don't want to let them stay in it. Get a lead and go with it. But we have missed some easy buckets. And uh, it looks like part of the strategy is to get it inside to Landry Golden as quick as we can. Sadie Schobert has uh, given us some spark off the bench, like she always does. Uh, haven't seen much of Rowan Kelly tonight, but uh, Rowan had a great JV game. Really showed her stuff, to, you know, in the, in the JV game. But the Lady Panthers are up 18-17. We'll see what happens in this second half. You've been listening to the State Farm Agent Stephen Gum Halftime Report. We'll send it back to the studio and we'll return with more Lady Panther basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Lady Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We're getting ready to get the second half underway as they're doing the Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Man, I ain't done that. I won't tell you how long, oh, Tim. I'd love to see you get up and do it right now. Oh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> that wouldn't be a pretty sight. Wouldn't be a pretty sight. As we're getting ready to get underway, the Lady Panthers will have the basketball to start the second half. Up by one. Wait. Gets it into Welch. You got Wake, Welch, Hicks, Golden, Stenzel, Campbell. Dangerous pass over to Wake. Wake holds it over her head, gets it in the corner to Ray Lee. Ray Lee down to Golden. Golden back to Ray Lee. Ray Lee stops, pops off the back of our no good. Ray Landry's hat, but no call. Here comes Haskins. Haskins has it knocked out of bounds by Ray Lee. 18-17, Lady Panthers. Campbell tying her shoe. See if these seniors can't rock and roll. Seniors and juniors. Three seniors, two juniors. Haskins gets to Trotter. Let's get our Trotter's fourth foul. See what happens. Welch on her. They get it over to Thomason. Thomason down low to Baco. She turns, shoots, no good. 
Rebound Ray Lee, she saves it, but it goes right over Taylor's head. They get it over to Haskins. Haskins gets it down the corner to Trotter. Trotter likes that. She gets it into Thomason. Thomason puts it up, no good. Rebound Golden. Here come the Lady Panthers. On the move, Campbell Welch kicks it to Hicks. Hicks dribbles right, gets it to Wake. Taylor on the left wing, holds it over her head, dribbles one time, passes to Wake. Wake, back to Hicks, in the corner to Stenzel. Stenzel fires to Campbell. Campbell off the mark, and it goes out of bounds. Lady Eagle basketball, 6-4. Kicks it down to Baco. Baco over to Thomason. And the press got us that time. Here comes Welch. Panthers down by one, 19 to 18. We got to put it in the bucket. Gets it to Golden. Golden, back door to Wake. Wake over to Hicks. Hicks over to Ray Lee. Ray Lee fires to hit or to Wake. Campbell into Golden. Golden to Taylor. Taylor off the mark. Rebound Trotter. Trotter can boogie. She gets it. Oh, and she walks. And they get that right. Oh, the Fordland, Fordland people are on like their that. feet. They didn't like that, did they, Tim? Welch. Lady Panthers down by one. We got to get a basket. Ray Lee. Oh, has it stole by Kendall. Gets it over to Trotter. Trotter's going to drive. She's fouled, and it goes in. And you can't reach. you got to get in front of. Number two, Campbell Welch. That's her second first team foul. And that's Campbell's second. 21 to 18, Fordland's largest lead of the night. Trotter at the line, and she makes it. And Steinle's going to check in. Baco checks. No, Kendall. Oh, Trotter checks out. Trotter checks out. They get it to Welch. Welch. Back to Wake. Down to Golden. Over to Welch. Wake. Good drive on the baseline. It goes through. Stolen by Kendall. <coughs> we got to quit turning it over. Here comes Kendall. She gets it to Baco. Over to Haskins. To Steinle. Haskins lobs it into Thomason. She's right there. Panthers. And Coach Mallow's seen enough. He calls timeout. He's, he takes a timeout. So will we on the home of Panther basketball. Big Country 99. Welcome back to Lady Panther basketball. After the timeout, Lady Panthers with the ball. Stenzel down to Welch. She puts it up in and out, and we can't buy a bucket. Thomason with the rebound. She's killed a stolen. There it is. Ray Lee puts it up and in. A huge steal there. 24-20. Lady Eagles. Kendall has it. Kendall. Trotter on the bench. We got to score some points. Kendall. She carries it. No call. Gets it to Haskins. Haskins gets it to Baco. Down low to Thomas. Thomas, double team, triple team. Good defense there. She almost throws it away. Haskins runs it down. Gets it to Kendall. To Baco. 
Bako over to Haskins, to Stimel. Back to Kendall, they're burning some clock. Kendall drives it all the way in. And we're not cutting off the basketball to the basket. 26-20. Wake to Hicks. Back to Wake. Back to Hicks. Down low to Welch. Welch puts it up and in. We needed that bucket, 26-22. Here comes Haskins. Haskins lobs it down to Stimel. Stimel, bad pass, but it goes right to another Ford Lady Eagle, Kendall. Gets it over to Baco, over to Stimel. And the Fordland coach takes time out, and Trotter's going to come back in as he's seen enough. As, they ta as he takes a time out, so will we on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Lady Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. 318 left in the third quarter. Lady Panthers down by four. Let's see if we can get a steal and a transition bucket. Haven't had many of those tonight. Rowan Kelly gets ready to check in. As Baco's gonna key the inbound. She gets it into Trotter. Trotter went and sat down for a little bit. Trotter kicks it over to Haskins. Haskins gets to Trotter. Trotter drives it in, no go, but Stimel's right there to put it back in. An offensive second chance, 28-22. They get it into Campbell. Campbell out to Hicks. Hicks stops, Pop Off the back iron, no good, Stenzel. Should have been a foul on Stimel. Ray Lee, and she's gonna she gets hacked that time. They call it. Ray Lee's going to check out, and so's Hicks. Landry and Kelly check in. They get it down to Golden. Golden turns, has it blocked. It's going to remain with the Lady Panthers. Coach Mallow. Campbell, Wake has three fouls. They get it over to Kelly. Kelly thinks about it, goes down low to Campbell. Campbell, Golden with a rebound, she's hacked. And I guess she got a foul twice because <laughs> Campbell was murdered down there under the basket, no call. Then they about decapitated Golden. She puts up the first and in. 233 left, 28 to 23. Second short, she gets her own rebound, gets it to Campbell. Welch drives, stops, pops, no good. Rowan has it jerked off her back, no call. Here comes Botko. She passes it over. It goes through Stimel's hands. Lady Panther basketball, 221 left, third quarter. Wake. Welch is gonna post up down low, I think. Schobert goes out on the wing. Kelly up top gets it to Sadie. Schobert back to Rowan. Rowan has it tipped and stolen by Trotter. You gotta do a bounce pass. Up and in. Here comes Wake. Wake over to Kelly. Kelly. She has Welch right open in the middle. And a foul there. And we, it took two passes to get to one. Third team foul on the Lady Eagles. 30 to 23 here. 
and Haskins and Rippey will sit down. And what do we have? A turnover. And it's Lady Eagle basketball. And they get the ball into Trotter. Trotter kicks it to Thomason. Thomason's killed it. She walks. No call. They get it over to Kendall. Kendall. Baco. Back to Trotter. Trotter kicks it over to Kendall. Kendall. Ball's on the ground floor. Thomason can't find it. Gets it out to Trotter. Trotter has Kelly on her. Good dish underneath to Thomason. We can't, we don't have an answer on defense. We're getting outplayed everywhere. Kelly, back to Wake. Wake, over to Schober. Schober, back to Wake. Wake. And they throw it away. And Hicks is going to check in. It's Ray Lee Stenzel's checking in also. Coach is doing some coaching with the freshmen. They get it to Haskins. Haskins kicks it in the corner to Thomas. Thomason has Hicks all over her. Stolen there by Schobert. Schobert gets it up to Campbell. Campbell has it stolen by Kendall. Oh, and Thomason just runs over Stenzel. And that's going to be number four. Just her second. Hicks is going to key the inbound. They get it in. Wake. 37 seconds left here in the third quarter. Panthers down by nine. Wake fires to Hicks. Hicks fires back to Wake. Wake. Head fake. Gets it into Stenzel. Stenzel puts it up. Hammered. No call. Puts it up again. No call. Run down by Hicks. Over to Wake. Wake fires a three. No call. Haskins has it. Knocked out of bounds by Ray Lee. 10.6 seconds left here in this third quarter. 32 to 23. Here comes Fordland. Kendall. She's hurt us. They stop. Pop. Haskins. Air ball. Goes out of bounds. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Not a very pretty one for the Panthers. Don't know. We had 17 going, or 18 going in there. We scored five points. We'll be back with the final quarter of Lady Panther basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Lady Panther Basketball in the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Looking at the 98-99 uh, men's basketball team, and they were second place in state. Lots of last names match up with these Lady Eagles. As Trotter has it, gets to Baco. Down low to Thomas, and she wheels, she deals. Rebound Hicks. Good rebound by Taylor. Welch has Kendall on her. Kendall's quick as a hiccup. They get it down to Schobert. Schobert gets it to Hicks. Hicks has Campbell wide open on the block. Can't get it to her. Back to Wake. Oh, and threw it inside. Stolen away by the Lady Eagles. That's the last thing we need. Kendall, and she carries it a lot. 
and knocked out of bounds by Wake. Bucko throw it in. Suter in the game right now. Kendall has it. Gets it to Trotter. Trotter back to Kendall. They're milking the clock. They get it to Suter. Suter to Bucko. She puts it on the floor, drives in, kicks it out to Suter. Suter puts up a three, no good. On her back, and that'll be Thomason's third. Schober with good position. That's her third. Stimel's going to check in. Kenzie Haskins will check in also. Wake brings it up. We got to score some points. We're down by nine. 6.52 left. Hicks. Over to Wake. Wake inside to Schober. Kicks out to Welch. Welch puts us up a three. Hits it. 26-32. Six-point lead. Here comes Kendall. They got a trap going. Trotter. Our press hadn't been able to work. She gets it down low to Steimel. Steimel puts it up. No good. Rebound Stenzel. Stenzel. She's going to bring it up. She has Trotter on her. Kicks it over in the corner to Wake. Down low to Schobert. Schobert puts it up. Foul. No call. Puts it up again. Up and in. Yes. Bang. Oh, and Wake oh. steals it. Gets it down. Oh, and Camp foul. Come on. Do they, are you going to call anything? <laughs> I mean, geez. Stolen by Hicks. Great job. Don't worry. They won't call fouls. <laughs> Stenzel gets it to Wake. Now let's score a basket. 5.49 left, 32 to 28. Stenzel gets it into Campbell. Campbell with a good crossover. Gets it to Schober up. No good. Rebound Trotter. Trotter's going to be fouled by Wake. And that's going to be four on Kaylee. Oh, that's on Ray Lee. Benson and Golden check in. Trotter gets the inbounds. Ray Lee cuts her off. Campbell hits the deck. They go down to Stimel. Stimel back to Haskins. Haskins. Back to Baco. Over to Trotter. Trotter gets it to Kendall. They're just playing catch on the perimeter. Trotter. Has Benson on her. Four point lead. You guys got to get a five second call. Welch. Kendall. She keeps control. Has it stolen. Barely gets it back to Haskins. Ray Lee busting her tail out there. Trotter. Trotter. Sees an opening. Goes in. No good. On. Hicks is back. No call. On Golden's back, no call, but we get the rebound. Here's Ray Lee, gets it to Benson. Benson, back to Hicks. Hicks gets it to Golden. Golden gets it in the corner to Ray Lee. Ray Lee with a great head fake. Goes up, puts it up, and it is. Here comes Kendall. Good defense by Hicks, and the ball's on the ground. And they're gonna get a foul. I guess on Benson. After a foul for 10, Taylor Hicks, her second, second team foul. Taylor Hicks didn't foul her. She had her position. You can't run over somebody. Baco's going to th- get the inbounds. Down to a two point game, 32 to 30. Wake's going to check back in. 413 left. They get it to Baco. Baco. With Ray Lee on her, gets it to Haskins. Campbell on her, Trotter. Trotter puts up a prayer, no good. Golden with a rebound. Gets it to Welch. Welch kicks it out to Benson. Benson puts up a three. Bang! Bang! (laughs) 33-32. Here comes Haskins. Gets it in the front court, over to Steimel. 
Steimer gets to Bodko. Bodko drives in, stops, pops. Nothing but net. 34-33, back and forth, back and forth. Campbell gets it the good pass. Ray Lee is hammered by Bacco. And that'll be the third team foul here in the fourth with 323 left. And Coach Mallow's going to take a timeout. Thank you. Tim needs to catch his breath. <laughs> on the home of Lady Panther basketball, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Lady Panther Basketball in the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. They get it to Ray Lee, stop, pops. Oh, Hicks. It's gonna remain with the Lady Panthers. I don't know what just went on there. As Welch is gonna key the inbounds, we gotta get it in. Golden has it, she kicks it in the corner. Hicks puts up one, off. Stymo has it, Ray Lee's the only one that can catch her. She stops, blocks it. What a defensive play by Stencil. Gets it to Campbell. Campbell racing. Oh. And a foul on Baco. And really, I thought that was a good block. 254 left. Great hustle by the Ford and Lady Eagle. As Campbell is gassed. As she's only been out one time that tonight. Campbell puts up the first, bang! That ties it up with 2.54 left. Kendall comes in, Stimel checks out for the Lady Eagles. Trotter hasn't picked up a foul this half. Off the back arm, no good. Rebound, Stenzel, nobody there, everybody's watching. Kendall, Kendall. Picks up a dribble, gets it to Haskins. Haskins. Over in the corner to Baco. Baco, back to Haskins. Over to Trotter. Trotter launches a three. Off the front arm, no good. Rebound, need to tee her up. And that's four on Trotter. Wake. Schobert comes in, Hicks goes out, and Hicks played a whale of a game defensively. Wake, we need to take care of the rock. All tied up, 34, 22 for 24. Gets it to Welch. Welch down to Schobert. Schobert back into Golden. Golden has it, it tipped. <coughs> Campbell, or Kaylee trying to steal the ball. That's Kaylee's third foul. Haskins, key the inbounds, all tied up. Trotter, Trotter's good, but with four fouls, wake on her. Thomason is in the game, going to Haskins. Haskins has a tip, Golden comes away with it. Kicks it out to Ray Lee, Ray Lee pushes it down to Campbell. Campbell dribbles off her foot. and turns it over. 
34-34. Trotter. Oh! That wasn't a foul no more than anything. See who they call. That's four on Wake. Benson's going to check in with a minute 50 left. All tied up at 34. Stella's on Trotter. She's drawn a tough task. Trotter crosses her over, kicks it in the corner to Thomason. She stops, pops off. Rebound Ray Lee. She's played a heck of a game. Ray Lee gets it to Benson. Benson kicks back to Campbell. Campbell stops, pops, in and out, no good. Ball's on the floor. Stella's got to stop her. She a great defense by Benson. Benson's foul, no call. They get it up to Campbell. Welch, Welch kicks it back to Benson. Back to Campbell, Campbell launches. Bang! 111 left and Portland throws it away. What a game, folks. What a game. As the Portland coach calls timeout to heal the wounded, we'll take a timeout too on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Lady Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Lady Panthers up 37-34 with 108 left. Fortland's just taking a timeout. Kaylee Wake just checked out with four fouls, but with a minute eight left, you can't take them with you. But Stella Benson came in for it and made one whale of a defensive play down here on the other end. The only one that could have stopped Kendall did. And then grabbed the rebound, got the fast break going, and uh, Campbell Welch nails a three from the left wing. These young ladies have not quit. And I'll tell you what, we've done well. Schobert. Gets it into Stenzel. We gotta take care of the basketball. Make them foul us. They get it over to Welch. Welch gets it to Golden. 59 seconds left. They get it to Schobert. Schobert has Stimel on her. We gotta move. They get it over to Hicks. Hicks trying to take care of it. And slammed to the ground. And that's gonna be five fouls on Fordland. Taylor Hicks has never shot more Bigger, or bigger free throws in her whole life. Taylor, a senior, takes a deep breath, puts it up, boom. Cool as a cucumber right there. Makes it a two possession game. Trotter checks in. Thomason checks out. Trotter with four fouls. Just like Kaylee. Hicks up with a second in. Five point lead, 48 seconds left. Here comes Haskins. Kicks in the corner to Thomason. Over to Kendall. Kendall looking for a place to go. Trotter drives in. It's out of bounds. Oh, no. I'll tell you, these guys need glasses. Haskins with 36 seconds to go. Panthers with a five-point lead. Trotter over to Haskins. She puts it up short. Golden with the rebound. Gets it to Stenson. Here comes Ray Lee. They get it in the front court. Ray Lee dribbles right, dribbles left. They're going to call Haskins. Ray Lee will go to the line and shoot two with 21 seconds left. Man, oh, man. After a dismal third quarter, what a fourth quarter of basketball for the Lady Panthers. 
Ray Lee up with the first, nothing but net. 40 to 34, one more makes it three possession and that's gonna do it, barring a miracle. Ray Lee puts it up, bang, nothing but net. They get it to Kendall. Kendall pulls out, gets it to, over to Trotter, Trotter walks, no call. Schobert comes away with it. Schobert, and she's fouled by Haskins. And good morning, good afternoon, good night, Tim. Seen you get a second win there, Brush. You bet. Well, after that, that third quarter wouldn't put anybody to sleep. <laughs> Sadie Schobert at the free throw line. Puts up the first, in and out, no good. Seven point Panther lead against a very good Fordland Lady Eagle basketball team. Sadie puts up the second, off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Bodko. Down in the corner to Haskins, it goes out of bounds and it ain't Lady Eagle's day. Here come, and that's two seconds left. And he pulls all his starters out and puts in his JV. And Coach Mallow does the same and need to give the Lady Panthers a big round of applause. I hope you've been watching this. I hope Maddie has it on at Mateo's because this has been a wild one. And that's gonna do it, folks. Lady Panthers win 41 to 34 in a thriller. We'll be back with the Family Pharmacy Post Game Show and talk to Coach Mallow on the home of Pan Lady Panther basketball, Big Country 99.